Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Cross Designs. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to any new subscribers. Lovely to have you here. Right, what am I doing today? Well, today's video has been suggested by one of my subscribers. It's something that I did during my Alice journal over at weekend and I didn't really go into too much detail about how I was making it. It was basically, it was a means to an end making it. I wanted a glassine bag. I couldn't find my small ones so I just whipped out a bit of paper and made one and I didn't really explain it in too much detail so if you don't know what a glassine bag is this is a glassine bag yeah it's got that lovely sound it's made out of I don't know is it made out of glassine is that what I've no idea is it called glassine because it's semi see-through I've no idea I know they're expensive in the UK unless you buy like a thousand but it has lovely properties of being translucent you can see if it's not completely transparent but it's lovely and it has that sound and it's just oh it's so lovely i'll stop fawning over this bag now so if you don't have access to these bags or you find them too expensive to make there's a few different ways you could make your own now i made mine from a sheet of what i think is glassine now I didn't buy it as glassine, I've had this perhaps about, I don't know, when did, if you're a die cutter, when did tattered lace dies first come out? I know they were a pain to cut, so they come up with this solution, ooh, put a sheet of this between your die and your card and it would be so much easier, what the heck, <laughs> I didn't find it easier, so now I've got this pack of glassine there's no even name on it i don't know what crate and craft sold it as but i'm now really glad i've got it because i'm going to repurpose it you'll find on my channel i know a lot some junk journals use an awful lot of junk i don't tend to use so much junk but i'm repurposing my old craft supplies that i never used yeah when i were a lot more flush than i am now and when i were didn't have kids and when i worked full time I used to spend an awful lot of money on unnecessary craft supplies and not use them. I also had a business selling craft supplies, so that didn't help. So yeah, I bring a lot of that into my junk journals. And today, I'm bringing a sheet of this. Right, if you don't have this, you can use... This is the backing sheet from Labels. Yeah, I use these a lot. You could use a sheet of tracing paper. You could use some vellum. Right, there's all sorts you can use. I don't know about you, I'm in UK and you can get tracing paper at our local shop. We do have a pretty good local shop, it's a family run shop and you can get a pack of tracing paper for about a pound. It's not fabulous quality but we don't want fabulous quality, we're not tracing with it are we? We just want this property of it being semi see through. So for the purposes of today I'm going to make this bag in this size. Yeah, now this bag measures, I wrote it down, it measures three and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. Now, when I put it on my board here, one of you American ladies might be able to answer me this. It's something I've never looked up. I suppose I could ask Google, but I'll ask one of you lot, eh? This is the Martha Stewart punching board. So, yeah, it's made for American market, isn't it? And three and a half inches says four bar what on earth is four bar i don't i don't understand what that means so uh, perhaps someone can tell me so yes this bag is four bar wide <laughs> no idea what that means anyway let's crack on so to make that bag what i've done is from my a4 sheet i've cut it down to a size that you can cut from an a4 sheet or a letter sheet and i've cut it down to eight inches by five and three quarter inches yep yeah. so first thing i'm going to do put it on my scoreboard lengthways and i'm going to score at the height i want my bag which is five and a quarter inches so that will then leave me half an inch for a little flap to turn up hence cutting it at five and three quarters also that just happens to be half an a4 sheet in the uk so we could get two now i've scored that two or three times to get a good score now i'm going to turn it this way and 
this bag wants to be oh what is it yeah three and a half yeah three bar no four bar <laughs> sure we bars three and a half inches wide so what i tend to do if you look on this one the seam is in the middle when i make them i tend to put my seam over to one side it's just easier for me so i'll start off and i will score at three and a half inches and then i'll score again at three and another three and a half which is seven in total but as you can see my scoreboards runs out before we get to that so i'm just going to scooch over and do it if you've got a big scoreboard yeah I just I, I'm, I've fallen out with big things today, haven't I? I don't want to use my big chopper. I don't want to get my big scoreboard out. So I'm just gonna, yeah. So I assure you, if you're on your big scoreboard, you score at three and a half and seven. Yeah. Put the scoreboard away for now. Right. So I hope you can even see this. If put if i put something behind it let's grab a piece of scrapbook paper I've got out can you see no you can't see trust me there are score lines so the three inch line where we scored i'm going to fold that over yep and then the seven inch line where we scored, I'm going to fold that over. Then we're going to start cutting some bits off bottom. Right, so that's our flap. If you don't want it that long, trim it down. Personally, it doesn't bother me. And now we need to cut some of these bottom bits off because we only need, if you look at this, we only need one side to flap over so i prefer to cut these off and leave the flap on the center part i hope you're following this so i'm going to cut at an angle up to the crease there i'm going to cut at an angle up to the crease there it's a bit like when you're making a corner pocket a uh, uh, pocket yeah now this one i'm just gonna fold it over and cut to that corner and I've done two at once and this side I want to take this bit off altogether I have absolutely no idea why I'm using my small scissors and I'm just going to make sure I come in to this side of the score line Ooh, it wrinkled so that when I fold my flap up we're not going to have anything getting in the way I will then unfold it. You know, you don't even need your bone folder with this. You can just do it with your fingers. It's good. Now, it's up to you then whether you fold these flaps on the inside or the outside. I personally prefer to do them on the outside like that. So there we have the bag. do not quite look the same yet. Right. I don't have anything that punches like that so I'm going to be quite happy with a circle punch right do not punch your glassine with your punch because you could break your punch your punches do not like going through glassine I did one in my Alice video and this was the result it all got stuck in my punch and my punch jammed and I had to throw my punch on the floor a few times till it came apart but one quick tip is <laughs> I knew I was going to use this tip. And have I got a piece of card out ready? Have I acres like? Why would I be prepared? It's me you're talking to. Right, I've just grabbed any old piece of card. To punch glassine without jamming your punch. Pop a bit of card behind it. Yep. And you'll be able to punch it without your punch jamming. I'm using my one inch, is this one inch? One and a half inch punch. I'm just eyeballing it where its centre is. Might get wrong. 
there you go and it punches no problem if you want to see what happens when you don't put card behind look at my last video <laughs> and you'll see me jam my punch up and i didn't swear i did ever so well right so now yeah i want my flaps on outside we've got something that looks a bit like a glassine bag i could have made that notch deeper but i'm i'm okay with that now other thing with glassine i don't trust glue on it i tend to want to use a dry adhesive so i'm using my double-sided tape if anyone with any more experience wants to tell me different please do i really didn't fancy messing and experimenting uh, this is a way that does work for me so i use it if there's an easier way i'm up for wanting to know what that easier way is though Right, so I'm just going to put a line of tape along there. It's nice and rippable, this tape. And I'm going to put a line of tape. I think I am going to cut that down. It's really unnecessary for it to be that wide, isn't it? I mean, I could have got my trimmer out and done it neat, but... I'm getting really brave at using big scissors. I'm only brave at using big scissors on things you don't see. I'm still a bit wary about cutting things on things you do see with my scissors rather than my trimmer. Right, I'm going to burnish that down. I mean, they, they do stick fine. I just, I'm really not sure about wet glue or even... I can't do that with my finger. This is where I must use my blunt craft knife to get this back in off. Here we go. Love this. Can't slice your fingers with it. I suppose I could if I were really vicious with it, but I don't want to be. So don't ever worry when you see me point this towards me. This blade's been in this craft knife absolutely years. I'm not peeling, I'm peeling the backing off with that as well. It'd have trouble cutting butter. But it's still a bit pointy. I'm going to try from this end. Mm, have I got just the back enough, or am I starting to peel the tape off as well? Do you know, I've not had that problem before, but that's uh, yeah, that's what happens on video. You're destined for things that have never happened before to happen. It's like just getting back enough one of them stickers here we go now it's come off so i'm going to fold that side in first because i want to i don't really think it makes a difference and then i'm going to fold that bottom up so there we have it a little glass seam bag the reason i don't mind that seam being at the side is let's bring the cheshire cat back in when you've got something in it you really don't see where the seam is so there we have it, a glassine bag. While I'm here, I might as well decorate it, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta decorate it, can't not. Right. Now, I've put my bag together with dry adhesive. I've gone all, all about, oh, I don't know whether wet adhesive will work. But what I am prepared to do is decorate this with, I'm going to use three in one and yeah this one what's it called art glitter i'm going to use art glitter and then i'll let you know in future videos if it stayed stuck i'm sure it will i, I know tanya at tatty treasure has decorated hers and i'm sure that's what she's used i ought to have asked her really didn't i for filming it but again that smacks of forethought and planning and i'm very impulsive <laughs> right I do like these tubs but they do tend to tip and be rather annoying I'm going to do a little bit of collage I'm collaging again with what I've got to hand in my collage tub what's on top of it changes from time to time I'll have a bit of that what else have we got I've got a bit of lime paper a bit of brown paper a bit of music paper looks like I'm collaging with that then doesn't it that 
curls up at the bottom so I don't like it so I'm going to peel it off I think I'm going to make one big piece of base paper and like collage everything else onto this one piece and I'm going to use this could I have it upwards? I could I could so I'm going to tear down using the lines as a rough guide well that were very rough weren't it I think we'll call that very rough indeed I don't want to cover the whole bag because then it defeats the object of having a see-through glassine bag doesn't it well I think it does anyway so I'm just going to tear that down at an angle I still want to take more off there we go I'm happy with that so whatever we put in then we'll see it poking out above I think I want to ink the edges on this yeah I definitely do I'm, I've been in a collage mood non-stop and I've not really done a lot of collage over at weekend doing Alice so yeah I need to get my collage back on so three in one or I've, I've not got a lot of three in one left because I'm slowly moving over to Kalal. This is my last bottle of three in one. I'm going to get a whirl, see what occurs. It might peel off straight away. I don't know. I think sometimes, <coughs> oh, excuse me, that was the fumes from this bottle. That is reason 26 why I'm not keen on it. Ooh, and I have my window open. Yeah, I have asthma, so it's not. Hmm. Yeah, it's horrible. Horrible. Asthma start to play up more as I get older. What's that all about? Creaky old gate. Right. So let's see what occurs. I think it might just peel straight off. I really don't know. I've no idea. You can't really see it from back that well. I'm quite liking it. It feels secure. Got a little bit of wiggle room. Maybe it'll never dry. I, don't, I really don't know. I don't think I'd trust it putting the bag together though. I really wouldn't. Also, I don't think you want something that's going to keep slipping and sliding when you're constructing the bag. Right. So we've got a bit of that. I'm going to have a bit of that. And then I think I want a bit of that. Oh, do I? I don't know. That might be too much music paper. Might just want a bit of that and a bit of that. See, we can all overthink collage sometimes. I've had some lovely compliments on my collaging recently. And now I'm having a can't decide where to put it day. See, we all have them. I'm happy with that. Inking the edge. And then I'm going to come in with a lovely pink flower. I've been fussy cutting and putting all my <laughs> fussy cuts in colour coordinated boxes. I bought this box from Hobbycraft in the UK. It's not in stock at the minute, so I'm not going to link it for you to go and get disappointed. And it has 16 of these little plastic boxes in. It's a carry case. What I want to try and do is get the back of the, the front of the carry case off and put the back of it where all the boxes slot up on wall above my standing desk when that materialises. Which way around do we want that? There I think. Bitter ink. So the idea is then if I want the flowers in a certain colour I just need to look at the colour of the box. How cool would that be? That'd be brilliant. Oh, kids are going to go mad at me if they watch this. I've said cool. Not allowed, apparently. It's not cool. It's one of them words that comes in and out of fashion, cool. The kids obviously don't know that. I mean, yeah, I've been around a few decades. You've seen it come and go. Sometimes it's cool to say cool, and sometimes it's totally uncool to say cool. 
that's enough I'm gonna say on the subject to cool I think I want to ink the bag and I'm hoping the ink will stay on again it's a while since I've inked a glassine bag if it doesn't stay on I'll redo it and stays on or some other equally permanent ink There we go. So we've started the collage off. I think we're going to need flowers and tickets. What's that one? Oh, I do that. I've done it. <laughs> I want to use the first flower that came out. I just do. Now I do have lots of other flowers. I think others. I think a lot of them probably would be just as good. Oh, that's too big. I think most of these are too big. Do you know what? If that one hadn't been there on the top, I'd have been a bit stuffed. I'd have been like, what, what? What are we going to put on it then? I've got some tangled. Oh, that's nice. But that would have been pointing the wrong way. Yeah, it's going to be that first one I picked out. Never. Oh, I like that. But again, too big. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. We could have a different colour. We could have a colour other than pink. No, I want pink. And I want a ticket. I've got my ticket to about, there it is, hiding under a piece of glassine. I'm not going for top ticket. Can you even see me rummaging here? You can. I don't want a red ticket. I might want one of this shape though. Oh yeah. I might want two tickets. Is that a bit overpowering for that little flower? I think it actually could be. It's a bit overpowering. The flower's way too. I'm loving these long ones, but that's got a chair on. Not very in keeping with flowers. Oh, that's got a spade on. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's done. Voila, finished. I'm hoping this glue is sticking. It seems to be. It will peel back a minute. Let's try this end with a bit of art glitter. And then if I can peel everything back apart from that end, I know it'll be the art glitter that's holding it. That's why I wanted to do the whole collage in a backing piece because I didn't want to lose it if the glue I've used doesn't hold. So I will update you in a couple of days as to whether that glue has held. But for now, I'm going to put this on. This. Some days it's an inking day and some days it's not an inking day. Today it's an inking day for some reason. Oh, kids are back at school, I'm loving it. Ah, the peace, the quiet, it will all come to an end very shortly when they get home. <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder if I should have stuck that under there. Yes, I should have flower needs to go under the ticket it does I hope I can get it back under I'm gonna have to stick this one on with art glitter thankfully most of it has been stuck to the other paper because there's no way I can be so intricate with three and one it's far too gloopy you can't be that precise with it As soon as I film this video, I'll be messaging Tanya and saying, Have you used art glitter on a glassine bag? Have you used <laughs> three in one? Did it fall apart? What occurred? If she tells me it falls apart, I'll be like, Oh no! I've got to stick that under there now, haven't I? 
because I decided that's where it wanted to be. Get under. It's not going to want to go under now. So that's stuck well, hasn't it? Oh, I've done it. I've done it. Yay. Nah, I don't like it. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to snip it off so that it looks as though it's gone under. There we go. Then it's not too tall. That's better. Right. So, there we have it. Just a simple bit of collage, just because I couldn't do a video and leave the bag looking very plain and boring. So, that's how I make my faux glassine bags. I've done it before with tracing paper and the printer labels but it's new to me using this stuff that actually looks and feels like glassine because I didn't know I owned it so thank you very much for watching I hope you found that a little bit useful and I will see you tomorrow with my tatty treasure Tuesday thank you so much for watching see you next time bye